guys and welcome back to the Crochet Tour YouTube channel. In today's video I'm just doing a quick tour tries episode. I haven't done one of these for a little while um, and this is just where I like try out someone else's crochet pattern or a crochet book or something like that and just let you know what I thought of it and show you what I made. So this time um, I've made something a bit random. <laughs> I've made some corn um, and you can kind of peel it back like that as well. Um, so this is what it looks like. And if any of you guys are fans of TikTok, then you'll immediately know why I made this. It was just to make a TikTok to go along with the viral um, corn song that's on TikTok at the moment. I think it's probably a bit outdated now, but it was popular a couple of weeks ago. So um, yeah, that's why I made that. And I actually thought it was a really good pattern, so I thought I'd make a whole video on it as well. So yeah, if you're interested in finding out more about this pattern, then keep watching. So the pattern itself for this is just a free pattern that I found on Ravelry, so I'll link that in the description down below. Um, and in terms of like the difficulty and the stitches used, so I'd say it's kind of like an intermediate level pattern. And the reason I say that is just because there are some slightly different stitches used in this, so it's not just single crochets and double crochets. What they use in this is um, to create the appearance of the corn, it's a popcorn stitch, which I've used that before um, and it's not too complicated, it's basically where you just pretty much do three single crochets in the same stitch but then instead of like just moving on after that point you have to sort of uh, take your hook out of the stitch and then reattach it into the first single crochet you did and then pull the loop through to kind of create that popcorn look so that's the main stitch that's used in this but then also for the uh, kind of green leaves bit it's uh, a linked double crochet is what's used here and I'd never even heard of that so I learned something completely new from this pattern and I did have to look up on YouTube how to do the stitch because I don't think it was explained in the pattern but it's basically a different variation of double crochet and I don't know if you can see but the difference is that the stitches are a lot tighter looking and you can't see uh, the holes in between each of the double crochets like you can do in a normal double crochet so this was really worthwhile doing this pattern just to learn that that, to be honest because I wasn't even aware that that stitch existed and I'll probably use that in future uh, where, where I need to create something with double crochets but I don't want there to be gaps in it. So the person who made the pattern is called Elsa and she goes by something sweet and precious on Ravelry um, and when I looked in to find out more information about her and like what other patterns she's done it seems like she doesn't really crochet anymore. I couldn't really find any Instagram posts uh, since like 2019 but she does have a few other free patterns available on Ravelry. I think she has maybe five in total. And the other couple ones that I saw were Despicable Me related. So they were like Minions. And I think one of the uh, one of the children from Despicable Me, I can't remember their name. But I might actually try those because they looked quite good for a free pattern. So um, yeah, I would recommend that you check those out. I'm pretty sure they were free anyway. Um, at least one of them was free anyway. So um, yeah, if you go on her profile, you can probably um, find those. And again, I'll link that down below so that you can find it. Um, and yeah, all of the patterns are in English um, and they all look to be kind of more intermediate to advanced level patterns to be honest but like I say I haven't probably looked at the other ones yet but I may give those a go in the future. So just to round things off I thought I'd just let you know how I found the pattern so I found it really easy to follow and like I said the only one thing I did have to look up on YouTube was just how to do the linked double crochet stitch because it wasn't explained in the pattern or if it was I didn't understand what what I needed to do because I'd never heard of that stitch before so um but once I saw a video on it I immediately picked it up so it's not particularly complicated it's just like I say a slightly different variation of a double crochet. Um, one other thing that's important to point out is that I didn't follow the um, uh, recommended yarn size and hook size instructions so I always pretty much just use a four millimeter hook and a um, and my Aran weight yarn or at least that's my preference to work with most of the time sometimes I use DK and a smaller hook but most of the time I don't so yeah this is Aran and four millimeter so just bear in mind that this uh, has probably turned out bigger than it would have done if you followed the um, recommended hook size and uh, yarn weight because I think it was probably DK and maybe a 2.5 millimeter hook or something like that so yeah just bear that in mind um, if you're wanting to recreate something that looks like this and is a similar size 
and in terms of how long it took me it took me about three hours and that seems like a lot to be honest I would say for something that's this size but the reason it took me so long was because you have to basically do popcorn stitches for pretty much the whole of the actual corn piece and that was quite long to do because each popcorn stitch requires you to do three single crochets in the same stitch so you can imagine that that's actually quite a lot of stitches um, when you count the amount that you've done just by creating this piece so yeah it's, don't let the size and the sim, like the, the perceived simplicity of this um deceive you it will take you a bit of time um to crochet just because of the nature of the stitches that are used in this um but yeah like other than that the pattern was really easy to follow um and obviously i managed to make it and it turned out very similar to the one that she has on her photo as well so i feel like if you're not a complete beginner you've got some knowledge of um, basic crochet stitches and you have youtube and you can look up the ones that you maybe don't know how to do then i think you should be able to follow this pattern absolutely fine and the other thing that i really like about this is i feel like this is actually quite realistic looking and i think it was clever the popcorn stitches how she used that to make it look like the sort of corn kernels so i think this is a really clever pattern i definitely recommend it and i think you should maybe check out her ravelry because she has a few free patterns on there so it's always worth a try if it's free then you haven't really lost anything have you um but yeah that pretty much wraps up the video so i hope you guys didn't mind this um quick shorter video i've got more patterns to come soon um and yeah that's it so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys